But now, a detailed look at the government budget for the next financial year. In his budget speech today, Financial Secretary John Sung announced cutbacks to many of the sweeteners previously offered. But as Evelina Lung reports, there are also slight increases in tax allowances for maintaining dependent parents or grandparents. In his budget speech delivered at the Legislative Council today, Financial Secretary Zhang Zhang said there were requests for additional one-off relief measures from various sectors, and he responded to some of them. In the face of an aging population, Zhang proposed to increase the allowances for taxpayers who have dependent parents or grandparents aged 55 or above. Meanwhile, for those with parents or grandparents in residential care homes, the deduction ceiling for elderly residential care expenses will be raised from the current $76,000 to $80,000. The financial secretary also announced several one-off relief measures totaling around $20 billion. The financial secretary also proposed the reduction of salaries tax, tax under personal assessment and profits tax by 75 percent, subject to a ceiling of $10,000 for the 2013 to 2014 period. This is expected to benefit more than 1.8 million taxpayers. Rates will be waived for the first two quarters of 2014 to 2015, subject to a ceiling of $1,500 per quarter for each rateable property. That's a cutback from the full-year waiver for the current financial year. The universal power bill subsidy will be scrapped for the coming fiscal year. But there will still be a one-month bonus payout of welfare allowances, and the government will pay one month's rent for public housing tenants. The financial secretary did not rule out increasing taxes in the future. However, he sidestepped questions as to when or if taxes will be raised during his tenure. What is important is that the whole population uh, decrease would have an economic impact, for foremost. Uh, and and that, that is something that, that we need to look at. And that's what has prompted us to have a much closer look at the, the financial position. Uh, and we have come up with different scenarios. And we, we need not look at just any one single aspect, uh, but the whole, whole, whole basket of measures that, uh, that we need to undertake. And, and, and we, we need to we will take it from there. As for additional duties, Zheng has increased tobacco tax by 20 cents per cigarette stick. This, the financial secretary said, is to lower the health risks of the public. The increase also means the city's smoking tax now meets the minimum requirement of World Health Organization standards at a proportion of tax against retail price of 70%. The financial secretary also said the government will look into adjusting water supply charges, which have remained unchanged for 19 years, and fees for leisure facilities as well as hygiene services. Evelyn Lang, TVB News.